Okay, let's talk about how you handle reactions involving synthesis, decomposition, and combustion. So that means we're going to do the naming the reaction type, predicting what happens, and then balancing the full reaction. So let's go through these. Right, so uh, reaction type, you see just one reactant, that means it's decomposition. And decomposition is going to see uh, a compound turn into the elements that it's made out of. So if you see hydrogen and oxygen, that means your products are hydrogen and oxygen. Now, uh, the thing to remember is, okay, we just predict the reaction, make sure you have correct formulas. The form of hydrogen is H2 because it's diatomic, and the same is true for oxygen also, it's diatomic. So, there we fix the formulas, and then of course you gotta balance the reaction. Two hydrogens, two hydrogens, one oxygen, two oxygens. Okay, so put a two here, that way it's two oxygens and two oxygens, but if you got two hydrogens, you also need two hydrogens. Or, sorry, if it's two times H2, it's four hydrogens, which means four hydrogens here also by putting a two here. So two H2s, two H2s. All right, and by the way, I mentioned earlier, I just neglected to write it down. This is decomposition. All right, here we have two elements reacting with each other. When two elements, re pure elements react with each other, we're generally gonna to refer to that as a synthesis reaction. And technically, if it reacts with oxygen, we can also call it combustion. Some combustion reactions are bigger and more obvious than others. There's the fast obvious ones where you have flames and heat, and there's the slower ones where, like for example, a rusting fence where iron reacts with oxygen to release, and it does release heat, but just over an extremely long period of time that you don't even notice. All right, but anyway, so oxygen reacts with zinc, and what you're gonna get is zinc and oxygen, remember, Zinc goes first because it's a cation, oxygen goes second because it's an anion. Now, just so it's easy to see, what's the form of zinc oxide? Zinc is a 2 plus, you need to memorize that. Oxygen's a 2 minus, you can figure that out by looking at the periodic table. Zn2O2 simplifies to ZnO. So the formula is ZnO. So then we just got to balance 2 oxygen. We'll put a 2 here, that way it's 2 oxygen, 2 zinc, 2 zinc. There we go, done. Next, this reaction. Two elements reacting with each other. That's a synthesis again. All right, so having said that, let's look at what we're gonna get. That's sodium and nitrogen. So you're gonna get sodium and nitrogen. However, sodium is a plus one, nitrogen is a minus three. So you're gonna get a three right here and a one right here. So that means three sodiums, one nitrogen. So I've got to put a little three right there, Na3M. So yes, that is a three, I swear. Now, um, that being what it is, if there's three sodiums here, then I need to put a three here so that there's three sodiums here also. And then uh, as for this nitrogen right here, we have to note that it's an N2. So that means I have to put a two right here. But oops, that changed things because now I've got... 2 times 3 is 6 sodiums, so I need to change this 3 to a 6 in order for it to be properly balanced. All right, so 6 sodiums plus 1 and 2 reacts to make 2 Na3N. All right, that's a synthesis. A sodium nitride, that is, by the way. All right, next, one reactant. Forget the triangle. Not all decomposition reactions have a triangle, but this one does. So reaction type is decomposition because there's one reactant. So what does this make? We said it splits into elements it's made out. So do you get carb sodium, carbon, and oxygen? And the answer is no. This is a special decomposition reaction. This is listed in your notes. This is a metal. This is a carbonate. Metal carbonates decompose to produce a metal oxide plus CO2 gas. So sodium and oxygen, oxygen is a minus two, sodium is a plus one, that's two sodiums and one oxygen in the formula, so Na2O, and then CO2, so that's your most metal oxide plus carbon dioxide gas. Two sodiums, two sodiums, one and two is three oxygens. Yes, there's three oxygens here, and there's three there, and one carbon, one carbon. So this is already balanced as written. All right, there you go. We have successfully balanced the reaction. Here, 
one single reactant means it is also a decomposition. There's the answer. And this is chlorate, a metal, yes, calcium is a metal. Metal chlorates produce the metal chloride plus oxygen gas. All right, so uh, how do we make that work? Uh, first of all, remember calcium is a plus two. You can look that up on the periodic table. Chlorine is a minus one. Look that up on the periodic table. So you have one calcium and two chlorines in the formula. So CaCl2 and then O2. So if that's what it's going to be, we can look at what or we can balance this out now. So let's do that. We have calcium chloride. Okay, calcium chloride. One calcium, one calcium. There's two chlorines in here. Yes, this two applies to both the oxygen and the chlorine. So two chlorines, that's good. Two, three oxygens times two makes six oxygens. So you need to have six oxygens here. And by putting a three, I can have six oxygens. So this actually does solve it. One calcium, one calcium, two chlorines, two chlorines, six oxygen, six oxygen. That's it. It's balanced. All right, here we have something reacting with oxygen. If it is a, me a pure element reacting with oxygen, you can call it synthesis and combustion. If it's not a pure element reacting with oxygen, it's just combustion. Remember, when you combust anything involving carbon, you'll produce carbon dioxide. When you combust anything involving hydrogen, you will produce water. So therefore, if it contains no hydrogen, you'll get no water. If it contains no carbon, you get no carbon dioxide. Okay, so that being what it is, we've predicted the products. Now we've got a balance. Uh, okay, so we'll, let's go through this balancing thing. So that's one carbon, one carbon. This is four hydrogen. So I'll put a two here to make it four hydrogen. And then how many oxygens? This is two oxygens. This is also two oxygens. So two and two is a total of four oxygens. So if I put a two here, that's four oxygens. And that's it, we're done. Oops, my mistake. I take that back, we're not done. So there are four oxygens on this side. And then you could put a two right here to get four oxygens, but that forgets that there's an oxygen right here. So this is actually three oxygens here and four oxygens here. And so I'm going to put, I'm going to say uh, in addition to this, in order to get a total of four, I need one more, I need three more. So I need three more oxygens and there's two in this formula. So I put a two right here, so that's three halves. And then in order to make that work, I'm going to times everything by two. So two and then three halves becomes three. Because I'm timesing everything by two. And then times this by two. And then times this by two to make, uh, let's see, two H2Os becomes four H2Os. And that should work. Let's double check on that. Two carbon, two carbon. Let's see, four hydrogens times two is eight, and that is eight hydrogens there also. That's two oxygens there, and this is four oxygens, so two and four is six oxygens. And uh, here we can, oh, my mistake, I actually put two, that should be three. All right, so that's six oxygens, seven and eight. And here we have four oxygens, and here we have four oxygens, so therefore we have eight oxygens on this side and eight oxygens on this side. Woo, okay, save myself from that little error. Yes, this should be a three. All right, with that, you should have a correct answer here. Next, reaction type. Two pure elements will react to make a compound. So when you have two pure elements reacting, that's a synthesis. But unlike this synthesis and combustion, neither one's oxygen, so it's not a combustion. All right, so um, what we have now, aluminum plus chlorine makes aluminum and chlorine, right? Because the cation goes first. Now, aluminum is a plus three, chlorine is a minus one, so your formula should have one aluminum and three chlorines. So we gotta fix the formula to be correct. So aluminum, chlorine, okay, that's great, but now one aluminum, one aluminum, three chlorines. How do you get three chlorines out of this? Okay, my trick, take this three, put it here, take this two, put it here, that way you have two times three is six chlorine and two times three is six chlorine and two aluminums needs to be matched with two aluminums. All right, there we go. So that's how you do that one. Now, finally, or actually, yeah, that's it for that one. Uh, actually, let's move on to this one next. 
So one reactant means decomposition. Triangle does not mean decomposition, it just means heat. Not all decompositions require heat, such as this one does not require heat. But anyway, heat added and uh, decomposition, so it must split into something, but what? Well, lithium, oxygen, hydrogen? Well, not quite. Turns out that metal hydroxides are one of the special decompositions that are covered in the notes. So if you have a metal hydroxide, it will produce the metal oxide plus H2O. So lithium oxide, lithium is a plus one, oxygen is a minus two, so you have two lithiums and one oxygen in the formula, so Li2O is the correct formula. And now we just balance, so two lithiums, two lithiums. Two hydrogen, two hydrogen, two oxygen, one here and one here, so that's two oxygen on this side. And this means two oxygen here, so that's actually good. All right, and just to repeat, that is a decomposition. All right, now here we have compound reacted with an element. However, this element is oxygen, so that's what makes this a com combustion, because it's reacted with oxygen. And it's not synthesis because this is not a pure element, so this is just combustion. Okay, so uh, it contains carbon, therefore it produces CO2. It contains hydrogen, therefore it produces H2O. All right, and we just go balance. Seven carbons, gotta balance that with seven carbons. 16 hydrogens, okay, I'll put an eight here, that puts 16 hydrogens. All right, so this is 14 oxygens here, plus eight oxygens here, 14 and eight equals 22. Okay, so that's 22 oxygens. So we need to make 22 oxygens here. If I put an 11 in front of this, that does make 22 oxygens. So let's check, seven carbon, seven carbon, 16 hydrogen, 16 hydrogen, 22 oxygen, 22 oxygen, we're good, that's it. All finished. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. Happy studies.